God bless you, Wilson from Wild Adventures. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to be talking about the items we take when we travel. My wife and I travel a lot, and uh, we have one little bag here. This is our toiletry bag. Uh, this was given to us by our praise and worship team. Shout out to our praise and worship team. And uh, we're going to go and look what's in here. I'm going to show you some items as well as some other items that we take every time we travel. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is our toiletry bag. Okay, so there's a lot of items in here. Now, if you folks take things that you like to take, items that you like to take all the time, um, please feel free to put the comments in the comments below, and um, we might add that to our uh, repertoire of things we take. So let's look at some of the items here. Uh, some of them are very self-explanatory, but some items we can't live without. So let's look in here. Of course, we got to take our deodorant, right? Of course. Now, whenever we travel, we always take our own soap. By the way, I'm not, uh, I'm not being sponsored by any of these products. It's just the items we use. Um, we always take a bar of soap or two, depending on how long we're going to be traveling. Um, of course, you have your little, um, little containers for, you know, uh, hairspray, gel, whatever you like, things like that, your combs, your brush. Ah, this is very important. Uh, you know, sometimes when you're traveling or even just in life, there are times when you're not, you're not feeling too well. You feel like you're coming on with something, right? Um, this is the uh, no brand of Airborne. So we take Airborne and Zinc tablets. So it was be Airborne and Zycam. These are the no frill brands. They're a lot cheaper and they work just as well. They both have the, uh, what's that called? The um, active ingredients are the same. So we take one of these, these go into water and these we just let dissolve in our, on our tongue. And they basically build up your immune system again. We always travel with these. We always take that. Um, we carry a couple of sewing kits, mending kits. These are always good to have with, you know, some little uh, clips in there. So that's always good to have. Shaving, um, painkillers, ibuprofen, things like that. Oh, check this out. There were times when I felt like I'm coming out with something, but it wasn't anything, but it was actually allergies. Take allergy pills. That's right. That sometimes helps so much. You'd be like surprised that it's not a cold. You may be allergic to something. Maybe someone's cologne. Maybe a food. Something in the air. So check that out. All right. Oh. <laughs> Shout wipe and go. These have been a lifesaver when you get a stain. Or I never spill anything. So things like that. Floss. Uh, what else we got? Ah, lint brush. Great to have. Ladies and gentlemen. Tums or uh, antacids, chewable tablets. These are awesome to have all the time. Uh, also, again, this is also allergy pills. Of course, your toothpaste, hairspray, a little first aid kit. So we have a lot of um, alcohol swabs in here, band-aids, things like that. Um, butterfly stitches, always good to have on a trip. Take those. Artificial tears. Again, wherever you're going, sometimes the air may be dry, so it's always good to have artificial tears with you. And uh, cotton swabs. We also have off, because we love the Caribbean. Love it, love it, love it. So we gotta have that. Also, hand sanitizer, always good to have. And of course, we have a toothbrush, we uh, toothpaste, hairspray, um, and Alka-Seltzer, big time, also good to have. So that's what's in our uh, toiletry bag. Um, some other items I want to show you. This is really, really cool. So we take our little travel perfumes, but sometimes you may have a favorite cologne or perfume that doesn't come in travel size. Ha, ha, ha. This is the guy right here. So what this does, this has a little hole on the bottom. And what it does is you take your favorite regular size spray. Again, I'm not sponsoring this. I'm not, you know, so take your regular size spray, take off the sprayer. And then this little guy goes in here. And all you do is push down a few times. And then this has a little window that shows you how full it is. See right there? And then you have your favorite cologne or uh, spray wherever you go. It smells really good in here now. All right. So this is an awesome, awesome little tool to have. I'm going to put a link down below 
to the Amazon store so you can get these. These are really cool to have. Um, let's see what else. Now, my wife and I are going on a trip um, soon and um, I, it's gonna be our, my first time going on this type of trip. I'm not mentioning anything. But my wife had to give me this for Christmas. And basically, it's a sample size of different uh, colognes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, here they are. I'm going to take a couple of these. Um, I'm going to see if Amazon has this. I'll put a link down below. And I'm just going to take like, a couple that I've I've never used any of these before. So I'm going to take a couple with me just to make that trip that more uh, exciting, more memorable. So, you know, like when you smell something, that it reminds you of something. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do for this trip. Ladies and gentlemen, packing cubes. These guys are unbelievable. Again, another link I'm going to put down below. Okay. This basically really compacts a lot of your items. This one I got at a travel show and I've been using this one forever. Our uh, praise and worship team gave us these color coded travel cubes and basically you can put so much in here and it saves you a lot of space in your luggage. We have four of them. They sell them at Target. I'm also going to put a link down below um, for, for Amazon so you can check those out. Now, once we get to our destination, hotel room, or what have you, uh, what we do is we have this little hanging toiletry bag here. So what we put all our toiletries in there. We take them out of the blue um, container, put them all in here for easy access. We put this on the back of the door of the bathroom or and maybe even the closet. So you can put all your things in there for easy access. Again, I'm going to put a link down below for Amazon. Uh, another thing I want to show you is portable chargers. This one, for example, charges up to two phones or two tablets uh, at a time. So you have two there. This, this is what you use to charge this. And these two are the outputs to charge your items. I always carry with three. These guys, they actually sell my five below. You can find these at five below. Poor five below. Pretty cool. And they last a long time. Just make sure they're charged. One last item I want to show you. I highly recommend you get a TSA approved lock. Um, let me see if you can see it here. Yeah, this says TSA 004. You see that? So what this does, this basically if TSA has to open your luggage, they have a, a master key that goes in there and they open it. They won't destroy your luggage. What's really cool is this has a feature. See that red button right there? That was, that was actually green before. What happened was TSA went into our luggage. They didn't tell us anything. We didn't see anything disturbed or anything different. They went to our luggage and they do that randomly. So this is a TSA lock. I highly recommend that you get one of these or two or three, whatever you want. And they sell them in packs. Also, I'm gonna put a link down below in the Amazon uh, store. So again, TSA lock is something good to have and you know if they went in your luggage or not, okay? Really cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's a quick review of some of the items we take when we travel. Oh, there is one more item I'm going to be taking on my next trip, and I'm going to put a, a link down below as well. I'm going to put it on the screen now. And now that you see what this is, it may give you a little bit of a hint of, uh, of where we're going or what we're doing on our next trip. And this video is going to be exciting. I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, Give us a reason why. We like to make content that's uh, in informative and fun. And uh, also um, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're really bringing up our subscribers. So we thank you so much. And um, hope everyone has a great day. And again, thanks for watching. And God bless you.